You guys are up. We're up. You're up. Mm -hmm. Bill was telling us that he wanted eighty-five dollars an hour to run the maintainer. And Roger had done some figuring here, and and it's going to take what were those numbers, Roger? We've got approximately sixty-four thousand dollars for the year for our township total budget. Total budget. Uh, we've got forty miles in. St. John Township. Now, yeah, roughly. Like, rough, rough, like 40 miles. And Phil was saying that, you know, that their, their operator would go like four, four miles per hour. You know, and with their equipment, our equipment probably a little bit slower, but, you know, with their equipment, they can do go four miles per hour. I just did some rough calculating that uh, at four miles an hour, we can get over our township roads in 20 hours, actually. You know, that's now that doesn't count turning around, I'll get to that there. So that's seventeen hundred dollars at eighty five dollars an hour. I put another twenty five percent on just to for turning around and that doesn't you know uh uh we'll get into the and so forth. But, so he could go across our township roads uh, every every two weeks to get across all our roads, which uh, if you figure that out, that comes to $55,250 uh, a year. That does not count in road building, you know, cleaning ditches, removing trees, uh, snow removal. Uh, so what it amounts to $85 an hour, that's a pretty good well shot. And granted, I don't think we probably, you know, I don't know how often you know, we've got to cross the field, probably going to do it every two weeks, but uh, there may be some midway there, but it's every three months, or three months, and I have to drive that every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that every two weeks figured year round? <laughs> I figured, I figured 26 times, I just figured 26 times, you know, in a year, at the at the numbers I just gave, the 21, and that was putting 25 percent. Not that's just a number I pulled out of the air for turning around and road time getting over, and uh, and servicing the, the uh, equipment uh, doesn't allow for anything else. I mean, it's, uh, and, <coughs> no mowing or anything like that. No mowing. I that, I mean, that, that. If it took that many hours or whatever, I mean, yeah, we'd spend with the county fifty-five thousand out of about sixty-four. It's not that I want to save anything for the township, but I mean, there's going to be a little bit of we have some fixed costs that got to come out of that as well. So we didn't know whether the eighty-five was a going to be a set in stone deal or not. Is Phil going to be here? I don't know. I'll say we yeah, have, I haven't okay. talked to Phil. I've talked to him about this, but not any numbers. Uh, I didn't, you know. Do you me to I think, see if he's around. Okay. Yeah. That'd be good for Phil to hear that. <laughs> and Phil came up with the 85 an hour, you said? Yeah. That's where he, he called Pawnee County and, uh, <laughs> Maybe another county that does some is that con how contract they, out. Is that how they do it with the townships there? Or they, I don't In know Pawnee if they, County. if they're a unit system or not. Well, I don't know whether they all are or not. Well, for they're sure. not because Valley Center's got their own maintainer. Uh, I know that if the county is doing it, that they're charging that township $85 an hour to do it. I talked to. Brian Davis, he said they get eighty-five dollars an hour for their excavator. Chad does. Or no, yeah, yeah. I think the eighty-five an hour is kind of a standard rate. I mean, I've heard that we're running our loader and stuff. You know, eighty to hundred dollars an hour. What about the price of equipment? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the issue that the 
county attorney had, he said if we set a price for St. John Township and then somebody else wants to do it, we need to stick with that fee. So you don't have an operator now? No. Unless you want to come and do it. Clayton yeah. <laughs> needs a job. Pretty good guy. <laughs> and he's experienced with, with bulldozers. <laughs> you have one. How many hours a week did you average yeah. with your previous guiding thing? Oh, I'd have to go back and look. Uh, uh, would you guess 20 would have done it year round? I mean, you know, it was probably maybe a little more than that, but I mean, it wasn't all on the maintainer. There was tree cutting and tree mowing and Ditch mowing. Uh, I know he, he did a fair amount of mowing. Uh, well, kept the weeds down. Uh, that would have to come out of your nine thousand dollars. I wouldn't go very far for mowing. Um, you know, I was getting laid off the truck and the food truck lid get a part time operator. Maintainer, I mean, you can't get hard to get full time. Do you think you could find a part time guy for mowing or not? I mean, where where the county could just drag your roads or maintain your roads? Oh, there's always that possibility. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you never say no. Right. I mean, just for a part time summer job or something, I mean, it would be a pretty good opportunity, you would think. Somebody wants to make a lot of money. <clears throat> so what is the going right for an operator? Salary wise? Salary wise, I mean we were at twelve and a half and I've heard others that are at fifteen and then I think there's some of them that pay benefits. We weren't one that were paying anything <clears throat> extra on that, so I mean we're probably on the bottom end. Fifteen is Pretty common. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. with the county or whatever. I mean, when they're paying benefits, I mean that is significant. Yeah. Yeah. I, under, I understand that. Yeah, almost equal to the wage. <laughs> In other counties, what they do in this situation? Phil? Well, that's, I mean, that's where I got the $85 number. Right. I mean, and it's pretty close to what it should be. I mean, and when I look at the equipment rental and, and as I run it. So, um, actually, I talked to Farmington and did they do this for, I think, two townships. Oh, they did. And he said sometimes, you know, if they go to ditch me, they charge a little more because it's a little harder on the machine. But, what what I mean? What are those townships' budgets? Do you uh, that, that I, I, that that I, I do not know. I could that's probably what call, I, I, I could probably call and try to find it out. From I think that's something. I mean, a starting point to, sure. to know kind of what the normal is. I guess. I mean, because this is pretty new. Yeah, it's new. We've never done it here, you know. And I don't. You know, if you take that rate to eighty, if you even move it to ninety, I don't. You know, you're not. Numbers a whole lot. You're, well, you're not. Yeah, I don't know that you're saving or gaining, gaining much, and especially the weather <laughs> weather patterns that we're in now. You know, not really. You know, I know that road in front of my house ain't been drug for two months that I can think of. <clears throat> but I don't know. It's, Would you be interested if in doing the whole thing? The mowing, the snow removal. I, somebody in the community said, well, why don't you just turn their budget over and expect the county to do the whole thing? I don't think you can do it for that. 
<laughs> well, I mean, all right, right. If, you go, if, you, <laughs> if you go there, what do you do when I mean, you come up against the, the, the bottom side? The bottom side of your money, I mean, you just eat it or what? I mean, I'm, I'm asking questions, I'm not. Thank you. Know. you just have to eat if you do that. How, how would that work? budget time for the <clears throat> if that's been done before does the county turn in the budget for the township or? <laughs> then we, at one time weren't we told that we would still do the budget for that township but that money has to be kept separate yeah, yeah I imagine it would be yes. yeah because it's not run in the count the road <clears throat> Budget. But this has been several years ago, back when I was still on the road, yeah, we took that and out. Um, I'll make a couple of phone calls and try to get some more information. If they just turn their township over to us, the way I understood it is we still have to have a St. John Township budget fund and everything, but because their valuations would go into that. Mm -hmm. It's just more bookkeeping, but. Um, but that's been several years ago. Yeah. That's just the thought. I never thought about that myself, but I thought and that then, might be and possible. And then we run into a problem that means it's enough to help at times. We really have no idea. Yeah, it might involve a lot more expenses for the county. It could. I mean, it could. Yeah, it, I could see it going either way. I really could. Well, I think, you know, one township would you can absorb pretty easy, but I mean, if you got five or six of them, I, I see a yeah. domino effect here. <laughs> if we do one, then pretty soon we're going to get three or four. You're good. You're lots good. more, lots more, more townships. Say, okay, here you go. There's and you're not going to get the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Another, another thought that just to throw it out that somebody suggested was that. You know, to avoid the problem of what you do for one township, you got to do for the rest of them, is just to do this, put it in the minutes as a motion that this is a trial basis. Yeah, I'd agree with the trial. Whatever you decide, it's a trial basis, it's not set in stone, we're going to just see how this works. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean we're, we're, we're doing it by the hour, you know. That you know is there an adjacent township that you could work with? Where you have one operator up, you know, covering two townships. And no, on one side of the street, and the other side is Stafford. West Cooper. West on the east of us is West Cooper. West, West Cooper. North. South Seward. South Seward. The south is over. South is a mile west of Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you're going to start having a snowball effect here, and then I don't disagree with you. The snowball effect could be good, though. <laughs> I think people realize that they're what they're up against. <clears throat> well, the only other alternative is, is to go to a boat, and like they did how many years ago. But I th but still think you have yeah, some townships yeah. that are very. Oh yeah, that's the trouble. You, you get know, townships that are very good, and you got some that you know struggle. Yeah, you know, you're saying that they have adequate amount of revenue where others don't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Ohio Township has more money than they know what to do with. They trade road patrols every year or every other year. They yeah. still have a chunk of change in the bank. They well, pretty much have a full time job. Yeah. Yeah. And Farmington <clears throat> over Maxwell has pretty much full time job. Yeah. Um, But you look at the inventory of the county, I mean, there's 22, at least 22 township road records. Well, the one 
Putnam, South Putnam, like you were. All right, all right, 21. Yeah. And plus 7 with half bulldozers and bucket trucks and others have worn out road meters. They only do have a full-time job. They only have a full-time job. They get Clark Creek, Albano, Pagano. I don't know about those. Clark Creek's got... <clears throat> I think you got Gene's big dotted dot dot, but he's not full-time. I mean, full-time. Does anyone know whether uh, within the, the county the townships are sharing? Is there others in township or I, other counties? That I don't. I don't know. I guess I can. I, I assume it's probably. I get calls from the road supervisor to find out because this area right here in the center of the state is pretty much a lot of townships. You get away from there and you just start in this county units except for Clay County, which is a county in the United States. They actually run two different projects. That's how that's done. They run their, like our budget, and then they have a budget just for the rural roads that are not asphalt. Well, I think it's something we need to do the homework on and get some numbers and ideas to uh, see what <clears throat> on a temporary basis, though, you think 85 is what it ought to be? Yeah, I do. I mean, by the time you charge, you know, to, for the road grader and for the guy, I can't, I mean, we could probably swing it five, five dollars one way or another, but I, mean, I don't, I don't think we go lower than that. Maybe so we got that. We spent two hours out here. Right? It was just one day. I, I do think there's a lot of difference between doing St. John Township and saying you're going to go to Union Township. Well, sure. I mean, there's so much. Sure. That's a quite the way. Well, first of all, I mean, I wouldn't want to put our guys in somebody else's military. <coughs> we perm the guys pretty much have a machine they run, and, and that's well, what I, I, agree, I agree. I agree. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so this was handy because, you know, we could go out there for a couple hours or half a day or something because it was so close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you get other places and, well, take my, I don't know, I said we go to Clark Creek. I mean, if you have to run a road grader down there, you're talking about 45 minutes to an Yeah. Well, that's a lot, that's a lot of deadhead time that people have to pay for. It. That's all I wear. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. conceivable if you did that, you'd like to ride, drive it down there and, 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 yeah, and leave it and then pick somebody up and then, at least cut that you know, instead of driving, using a motor for a pickup. So your 40 miles is pretty much, <clears throat> is that school routes and mail routes? And that's everything. I that's mean, everything. Yeah. So that could be, so you could I mean, cut, that can be cut down. That, yeah, there's that, I, there's I some of them that I wouldn't drag. Yeah. I mean, yeah. right, better right. off being right. the Saudi type. And there's stuff. probably some that have been drugged that we really, sure. you know, I could designate, you know, a couple of miles like that, that were drugged before, even however limited it was, but I mean, yeah. they wouldn't be meant to do that much. You know, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of two track roads that probably included in this. Yeah. 40 miles. Right? Yeah. So, they, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, so that would, and we probably need to get together before, you know, we said, well, we need to do this, you know, sure. you know on a temporary basis, you know, and forget about that, you know, mm -hmm. you know that watch out too. You know, I, th <clears throat> I think while we're investigating a more permanent solution, we ought to reach agreement and move on a trial basis as to what it is per hour for the time being. I mean, if they need a solution for the problem, I agree with that. I mean, a trial basis. I mean, that way your bases are covered. And this yeah, is well, a, an, well, an immediate so concern. Like we to, you know, is this immediate concern? Right. Or yeah. 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 Can it uh, uh, be immediate because of first grade we get, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but yeah. you know, now, I mean, we're... Uh, uh, they came down there with plenty of ditches and they, they did you know, did a lot of work for us down there. We did get rid of dirt from mm -hmm. down the creek. We wanted to be down there. We had some issues there. 
I would move that we do it uh, county maintaining roads in St. John Township on a trial basis for $80 an hour. Six months or a year, or do you want to put the time frame on it? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Uh, six months. A six months trial basis at eight hours an hour. I'll second the motion. Go motion and second to maintain the rooms of St. John Township for eighty dollars an hour on a six month trial basis. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. So with Roger and Bernie, we on about which one, ones you, you don't even need to do your problem. Sure. Okay. Thank you for so your time. Is that going to be billed monthly, Phil? As we do it. At, okay. Once and a then <laughs> that's going to be like we keep that's their going budget to be, and what, give them a refund of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil, just so you know, that's another one of those reimbursements. Until your budget's used, you can't okay, use the revenue it. off of them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not in you, to your favor in your budget. So just maybe I'll build them up to you. I don't like the way some of these objects pull stuff. So I mean, that's just counterproductive to them. And I hate taking a hickey in my budget from them, especially when things are as tight as that. Right. Just say. Thank you, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. So, thank you. you guys need anything? I'm sorry. Do you need anything else? I don't. Find me a price on contract. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. No problem. Um, just an FYI, Phil and I didn't go down to see Bruce because I called him and he said, We'll pay the $50,000, <laughs> send me the bill, but not anymore. Man. An he said, send, him in, send me the invoice. He said, I agree $50,000, we'll do that. Yeah, that budget when we do that. <clears throat> Forty-five from the state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, probably the first part of the Forty-five exchange. Because I don't have, I don't have extra money. We'll have to. But if you amend the budget, then can you do something about this with seat? Can we think about that too? Well, you don't. They don't have what the hours are Yeah, we don't. Have um. I'm going to sign a flat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, if, if you continue, you can build it in your budget next year. So. Well, it's, yeah. It was my initial car. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you might not even be there. One. Yeah, that's right. They have been yeah. for six oh, weeks now. Anyway. Yeah, we went to have Brad. He, we had some, he had some time one afternoon. I said, you know, to, yeah. and I need to go do one east of town here. It's just like that. It's just hard to yeah. do it's pretty hard to put on Kurt Kurt knows I'm not telling him anything. I feel a lot of radio. It's pretty hard to dry dry dip dry dirt. Yep. Although I dug that one that all the trees went by by Pat O'Connor's old show mm -hmm. It's amazing. It stayed amazingly well. But I'm sure it's hard on your blade. Well we use our pit blade. That works very well. So, but I haven't been down now. Is it starting to work better? Oh, I'm sure it is. It's that, going. It's going to. And it's that flat. wind. That wind made all the worst boys really show up the other night. I'm sure of that wind because it's it's so flat. There's no way it won't work. You cannot have a flat road. I expect it not to work. Nope. They're bad. They're all bad. Just make sure you use your polygraph. 
that whole suit. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> oh, I don't have false teeth. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought that was words of the wise. <laughs> no, I still got my own teeth. I gotta go to the dentist at 11 o'clock. You, you got anything real quick? Stay pretty consistent, or is it been growing in total funds? Um, total From year to year? It, it's growing mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. But yeah. where did you see the interest? About a page. The bar. The bar. The bar. The bar. The bar. Yeah. The bar. Yeah. The stair steps down. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think. That oil and gas depletion fund helped pump that mm -hmm. up, you know. And then, of course, our tax roll is just bigger and bigger every year, too. Mm -hmm. so. I don't think I've been under I'd like to see the fund status report, the difference, which I'm getting ready to do my quarterly in the newspaper. Do you ever read this quarterly I published in the newspaper? It has the budgeted and non-budgeted <laughs> fund, so it really tells you what's non-budgeted compared to the budget of the breakout of all these funds. So I'm getting a lot more of these special non-budgeted funds like that. Her and I got that. That tech fund now, very soon register deeds. They get us something to know. We get, uh, I think you and I got $900 in there. Really? I think it was 600 Yeah. And those things are non budgeted. But we can use it for technology purposes. Yeah. <laughs>